Hello, I am Dragos and in this video we are going to check how we can deploy Astro on a VPS server with the help of a panel called EasyPanel. So if you don't know this is Astro, it's a web framework that can help you deploy static websites fast and uh, easy. You can create blogs and one page website easily and uh, grow a, a lot in the last uh, period. We're gonna use EasyPanel to install Astro on our VPS server. I've already created a detailed article and video about how we can install EasyPanel. So I will let a link into the description with the video so you can install EasyPanel. This is their interface. For this, we are going to follow the article that I created in here with all the steps that we need to do to have Astro deployed on EasyPanel on our own VPS server. So the installation is already there with uh, EasyPanel. So I already have a repo created where I will uh, add Astro. I am going to install Astro from, from scratch so you can see exactly what you need to do to have it hosted on EasyPanel. Also, I have articles in, in here and I will let a link in the description how you can uh, set up your GitHub repo if you don't, uh, if you don't know. So right now what we need to, to do the first step after having EasyPanel installed and uh, having a repo ready is to go and install Astro. First, we're going to fetch this repo and we're going to add it. Let's go and uh, fetch the, the repo first. We're the JIT clone and we're gonna paste the URL. So right now I have a directory called Dragosbro and this is empty because like this Astro needs it to be able to create something in it from, from scratch. So let's go and uh, create the Astro latest one. I will use npm for this. You can use Yarn or other uh, node package managers if you want, but I will gonna use the default one. So we're gonna go and run the command. And uh, right now this should start creating the Astro project. In here, I will just put a dot because I'm already in the repository. I will use the blog template for this. You can also deploy uh, templates that are already there if you if you want. But yeah, right now we're going to use uh, a fresh installation of Astro. This is just to show you how you can use it to to add it in EasyPanel and have it hosted on your own uh, server. This is the static version of Astro, not the SSR version. Also, this blog that I have in here, it's built with Astro. It's fast and uh, yeah, it's nice. So you can create really nice uh, websites with, with Astro. Let me open the terminal again and see. Okay, I will not gonna use TypeScript for this. Okay, so right now we should have Astro installed in here. You see that you have all the packages. What we are going to do next is I will just open this folder. Let me open the folder and uh, into the code editor so we can see more details in, in here and go to websites, choose it. So this is the version that uh, we have. And then the next thing that we are going to, to do is to install the serve package. If we are going to check this. We are going to run the npm install serve. Basically, easy panel. We need this because all of the build that is done with Astro, it's done in the this folder, and we need to tell it to serve it from from there. That's why you need to install serve. So I'm just going to to go into the terminal, and I'm going to run the npm install serve in here. And uh, right now, this uh, has installed the the serve. If we are going to check the the repo in the dependency, we should have the serving here in the packages. So you see that the latest serve it is installed. And the next thing that we are going to, to do is to modify the start command. Basically in under the scripts, you need to have this in there to let EasyPanel know what are the commands for, for Astro. And in here, I will go to modify the start. We are gonna use serve and the, the dist folder that it is created for for Astro, let me open the terminal. So let me put it in here. I will save this. So right now we should have everything in here. What we can do is to 
run some commands to see that the, our installation is working okay, the build is working, so uh, to not be problems when we add it in easy panel. To do this, we're gonna run npm run dev, and this will run a dev instance of Astro, and we can go and check that everything is okay in here. And this is our website, this is the default block template, you see that you have some articles in here, you have some pictures and an about page. So this is like a functional website that you can create with Astro commands. And right now I will also run the build just to be sure that build is working and there aren't problems with the build because this is the command that uh, EasyPanel will do to do the configurations. So right now the next thing is to push everything to, to the GitHub repo. This is the commands. You first need to add everything, then you commit, then you push it. So right now let me go and add everything. Let me go and commit minus M. In here you add a comment like uh, my astro website. Okay, and then we are going to push everything in here. Okay, so right now everything should be on the repo. Let me refresh it. So you see in here that this is a public repo. You can create also private repo, doesn't matter. You just need to link easy panel with GitHub with a token. I will show you this. So this is the the repo, it has everything in, in here. And what we can uh, do now is to go in easy panel. And this is the interface. First, if you want uh, the automatic uh, changes to be fetched automatically by easy panel, you should uh, enable the GitHub connectivity with GitHub token. You just go in the settings and the GitHub and in here and you create a token and that will allow easy panel to fetch private repository or to enable the automatic deployments when something gets modified. We're gonna see also how this it's, it's working. So in here, I'll create a project. I will put the Astro 2. And in here we add a service. We go and choose the app. And the app, it will be Astro Web. I'll hit create. And in here you have the project settings and the first thing that we are going to do is to go into the general in here we have the tabs and in here you put your repo owner you can choose between multiple sources right now i'm using github in here you have the repository it will be the ragosh blog and branch it will be main and in here the build path it will be the slash one we are going to hit save okay and right now we have some build options in here for this, we are going to use the Nix packs. This will uh, help us deploy the image with all the Node.js packages that are needed. I'm going to hit save. So right now we set up everything for this project. What we need to do is to hit deploy and this will uh, go and fetch the details and we'll create the image, the Docker image. And in here you can go into deployments and see exactly what is happening. You have the logs directly into easy panel and in here you have the output. You see that uh, right now the image was successfully built. It didn't take a lot because this it's like a small block. And right now, if we're going to go to domains, you will see that uh, you have a domain already created by EasyPanel, but you can add your own domain in here very easily. And uh, we can open it. And in here you will see that uh, if you check the domain URL, you have the blog in, in here with everything. So you have the posts, everything is working uh, correctly. You don't uh, have any problems. And uh, in here you have also the logs. So you see that uh, you have the, the logs with uh, the access that it's done. And in here, what you can do is to open the auto deploy, for instance, to enable the auto deploy. So what this did it uh, link the GitHub with this repo and in case something it modified into the repository, it will be fetched automatically by EasyPanel. Another thing that you can do is to add a domain in here. 
So uh, for this, you can just point the domain with an A record to, to the server IP for this to, to work. Uh, yeah, we can try. I have something like uh, astro.bitose.com that is pointing to this installation already. And we can uh, try to see that it's working. This is configured in Cloud Panel. And if we are going to check in here, we are going to see that uh, if we are going to the DNS, you will see that uh, I have an A record with Astro that is pointing to the server that uh, I have. And uh, right now, uh, the domain is added also in Easy Panel. You can add uh, your direct domain. This is just for uh, a subdomain. So we can test this. We can make this uh, the favorite one, the primary one. Let me save it again. And right now this should work. If we open this, you're gonna see that the domain it's used and you have an SSR certificate and everything in here. You can even proxy it through Cloudflare to be faster if you want to get the CDN uh, options. Right now you see that everything it, it's working and uh, we can test the auto deploy to see if that everything is working properly in here. I will go and modify a post so we can see that everything is pulled correctly. I will go into the first post and I will just modify this. I'll modify the title. I'll post like uh, Dragos in here and I will commit the changes. You can add new posts. It depends on you what you want to, to do. You can change, add, change images, add new images and things like that. It doesn't matter. It should fetch the latest things from, from here. So right now, if we are going to go in here, I guess this thing will take, uh, I don't know, a minute or two. You see that right now the deployment should be, should have been done. You see, like uh, right now, this is the latest deployment that fetched everything from, from there. And if we are going to go and check the Astro blog, let me check my new one. And in here I have the blogs section and you see that the first post has the title modified with my name. So right now we can easily go and uh, add new posts, add new things in there, and you can uh, you can uh, build your own websites. In here in the monitoring section, you will have the project details. You see that uh, in here you have the Astro True, and this is the Astro Web container. For this, you have the memory usage, you have the network and things like that. If uh, you want to check more on, on this. For instance, you can even go to the console in here and you can uh, see exactly what is happening in here on the on the node. You see that you have the application with everything in here. So you can do things directly in here if you want to check something. This is uh, how you are deploying uh, an Astro project in Easy Panel. Very easy and uh, it can uh, help you use Astro on your own VPS. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe.